Good morning. My name is Ryan McGowan. Today is Friday, October 7th, 2022. Here are your daily announcements. TSA will have its first workday on Thursday, October 13th from 5 or from mm-hmm. TSA what oh okay, I'm just going to do it over. TSA will have its first work day on Thursday, October 13th from 3 to 5 p.m. Junior High Student Council will have their first kickoff meeting on Friday during 7th period in Mrs. Smyche's room, B214. Please be prompt as the period is short due to the homecoming pep rally. We will welcome new members and start discussing the upcoming Junior High Halloween dance on Wednesday, October 26th. Aw, the Halloween dance. No, I'm kidding. Um, attention. Attention, 7th and 8th graders. Save the date. There will be a Halloween dance on... Didn't we just say that? No. Oh. Attention, 7th and 8th graders. Save the date. There will be a Halloween dance on Wednesday, October 26th in the high school cafeteria from 6.30 to 8.30. Start thinking of and designing your costumes for the costume contest. You don't want to miss the fun. More details to follow. The art club is currently selling a wide variety of hats, anything from a warm, cozy beanie to an easy, breezy visor. We offer something for everyone in every season. Take a moment to check your social media for the QR code. Place an order and remember to share the link. The order code is also posted throughout the school for your convenience to see all of your fashtastic styles available. It makes a great display during playoff season or could be a special holiday gift for your favorite Ram fan. The sale ends Tuesday, October 21st. The trainer will be on campus today 5 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Today's weather, a mix of clouds and sun in the morning, followed with cloudy skies during the afternoon, high of 66 degrees Fahrenheit. Sports for today, the football team hosts Bedford for a 7 p.m. kickoff. Go Go Rams! Rams. Laurel Highlands Fields of Faith will be at Herlinger Field on Sunday, October 9th, 5.30 to 7.30. Prayer, worship, games, and a powerful message from retired Steeler Justin Hartwig. Attention any 7th and 8th grader interested in math counts. Our first practice will be held on October 12th, Wednesday 4th from 3 to 4 p.m. in the cafeteria. Hope to see you there. My boy, do I have an offer for you. As you know, I'm Willy Wonka, ex-owner of the Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. And do I have an offer for you. Come on, my boy! I'm opening my newest venture, and I'd like you to be on the ground floor. What what is it? My boy, we're entering the market of gobs! Probably hate those doors. That'd be the first thing you work on, my boy, fixing my doors. Anyway, this is my the beauty of my gob factory. Up here, we have our Doompa Loompas hard work. Hey, hey, you! I told you not to film in here! You get your- There is no earthly way of knowing which direction we are going. <laughs> He's singing. Gobs will be on sale on October 19th in all lunch periods for only $3 a gob. Oh, make it stop, Daddy! Walker, does it go far enough? Right, right, sir, stop the boat! Every year, across the country, hundreds of high school stadiums sit dark and empty on a cool fall evening. In a short time, these fields will be transformed from darkness into a place of hope and light and become fields of faith. It's time for this generation to lead. Students are ready to challenge each other. Movement of God is happening. And it's happening in communities like yours. One day. One message. One stand. We are sharing our faith and we are reading God's Word. 
We are sharing what God has done in our lives. We are filling stadiums by the hundreds and by the thousands. We are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are those of faith. Hey guys, Patrick Himes here at FCA. Uh, so glad you're watching this video. I uh, just want to invite you guys, special invite to uh, Fields of Faith. Uh, it's going to be at Richland Stadium, Richland High School, uh, here on October 9th from 530 uh, to 730. So I invite your youth group, friends. It's going to be a great day. We'll have some worship. Matt Perez is going to be there with his worship band. And special guests, get this, uh, Justin Hartwick and the Pittsburgh Steelers will be there to speak. So uh, to all your friends, it's not every day you get to see a uh, retired uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. So he's going to be there to talk and speak about his heart. Uh, great guy. Uh, it's going to be a great time. Hope to see you there. God bless. We'll see you. Mark, Mark is a hot dog a sandwich? Yes. Sandwich. According to Wikipedia, sandwich is anything where bread is the container for another food type. So yeah. Wikipedia is invalid sources though. What? No. What? Sandwich. Absolutely. <laughs> a sandwich. Heck no. <laughs> Hot dog a sandwich. No. I don't know if I... Question came from, so I'm going to ask him. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Well, this is a very hot debate at the moment. We're kind of going at it right now in, in steam class. Conservation class, we're learning about sandwiches and hot dogs. Get ready for the deer season, because we're going to make some of each. But, as definition states, a sandwich is two pieces of bread. So therefore... A hot dog is not, not a sandwich. A, sandwich. <laughs> a hoagie is defined as a long roll. Okay? Not cut into two pieces. Sandwich. Uh, so therefore, a hoagie is also not a sandwich. Now, a hoagie can want to be a sandwich all at once. A hot dog can want to be a sandwich. But according to definition, sandwiches do not accept them as one of their own. 